I'm going to check in now with Anjali Kemlani for the latest on the outbreak. And Anjali, we now have seven California counties ordering residents to shelter in place. How soon before that becomes national? Thanks, Alexis. Yeah, it seems like that's uh, really the focus right now. We know that for the longest time, we've been looking at the federal level for guidance and for sort of instruction on how to do this. But at the state level, that's where the real power really is. And so we've seen not just in California, but also other states across the country really getting on board with this idea that we need to really enforce quarantining and really enforce, uh, sorry, isolation rather, and make sure that people aren't congregating in public places. We know yesterday broad uh, measures in terms of uh, restricting access to bar and nightclubs and restaurants, um, as well as gyms. So really taking that one step further, uh, it depends on really the uh, local and state and, uh, officials and what their thoughts are and how bad the outbreak is in the area. We know that, you know, on the West Coast, California, Washington, were really the clusters and here on the East Coast, it's uh, New York. So uh, even at the uh, uh, press conference yesterday, uh, Vice President uh, Mike Pence did say that the guidance, um, you know, really is that they that they want the state level. They're deferring to the state level, in fact. So that's where we will see any rollout, if any more. And Anjali, there's also a, a, an evolution of some sorts uh, in terms of recommendations. Uh, a couple days ago, you had folks saying uh, limit group sizes to 50 people. Now we're seeing some limit that group size to 10 or even less. Correct. Um, that is coming from, you know, a, a lot of uh, researchers are looking at the curve right now, right? We've talked about that repeatedly, flattening the curve, which is supposed to really extend the period of time that this outbreak continues in the country, but it would help uh, alleviate the burden on uh, a health facility. So with that flatten the curve idea, the less interaction, the, the slower the spread. So that's where that number keeps coming down. And we know that, you know, at the federal level, they did recommend the 10 or or less. And meanwhile, at the state level, uh, there are different numbers, whether it's in the hundreds or I think 50 was the last one. And under, I understand that Regeneron uh, has moved up its timeline to test a potential coronavirus treatment. We've actually seen that stock hold up quite nicely amidst all the sell off. What's the latest? That's correct. Um, they did say this morning that uh, they're looking to start clinical trials, uh, so it's human trials by the summer, not too far off really from what we've heard. That has been the general timeline since the beginning to match that one and a, one, one and a half year timeline for a vaccine. We know that Moderna is already ahead of the game really with theirs already in clinical trials right now over in Washington. So we're gonna keep hearing news about this as the companies who have dedicated their time to looking for a vaccine come clear, they're gonna be talking about summer trials. And then we still have have, you know, another year after that to really look for the vaccine to hit the market. Anjali Kamlani, thank you. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.